So just like in my last video, I would like to look at the last page of this arrangement. Uh, it gets pretty technical, some virtuosic-like passages. This is the last line, of course, and it's probably not as difficult, but let's go through it. Right, triplet at the end with a pedal, preceded by chords. Something like this. Many fingering options are possible, choose your own. Now notice there's the writ, which doesn't stop, so it's probably even more drawn out. Yeah, something very dramatic, but I don't think that's the most interesting part of the piece, so let's look at this. I'll try to keep this video shorter so we can get to the technical points quicker. Maybe applying some of the things I talked about in that previous video. Um, <clears throat> so, let's see, the Lero Anderson video. Here, all you really want to do is practice the position shifts. So, of course, very easily they are grouped as uh, units of four sixteenths. stuff like that, right? You have a, sh a chord shape, in this case, C sh uh, sorry, F sharp minor inversion, and then you need to teach yourself to do that jump. Here, I would strongly recommend teaching yourself to play inside the, the black keys, so inside the keyboard. That way you're not worried about kind of in and out, in and out. But again, your mileage might vary. I'm not forcing anything, I'm just saying try it out. Right. Essentially what I'm doing, if you noticed my hand jumps, it's a legato slur, we can see that. But there is a pedal, which means as long as I create a smooth, continuous flow of those 16th notes, I don't really need to connect my fingers in this legato way. So, as soon as I play the thumb, I'm thinking jump, go, next position. Now, who is to say that that was not a legato? If you close your eyes, could you tell that was not legato? Especially if you play it faster. Now, if I did a true legato, I'm gonna have to do, it's possible, I'm not saying you, you shouldn't try to ever practice with a legato, finger legato touch, because of course sometimes you don't have the benefit of the pedal, in which case this is what you have to do. As you play that first finger, for example, you instantly bring over the second finger on top of it, because that's what it's about to play in the next uh, group. And so as you start playing F sharp, get your thumb out of there. So it becomes a double position shift, a two-step position shift, which I'm just trying to eliminate by saying, by, by, by just bringing those thumb shifts um, in a way, as, as, as ways of dragging the rest of my fingers in the same time. And I, I still think that bringing out the top uh, line is what the arranger, Kevin, I guess, is really after. Because remember, legato is not just for all the notes under the slur, but they're also for the salient notes. So in other words, da -de -de -da -da. that top note melodic line is also there to be communicated. So it's not just... Every note, every note, right? It's not just that. It's also da -de -de, the overall gesture. All right, so I think I've beaten this dead horse into the ground. And then whatever is next. I'm not even going to worry about position preparation in this video. First, uh, 
fast passage of this line. Same idea, but now you're just jumping like this. Same exact shape in four octaves. And again, yes, you could practice true finger legato. Where you really have to bend in your thumb like this. But do you really have to do it? Is that what was intended? I don't think so. I think pedal is down. Yeah, I, I think you don't have to, to do this thumb under. You can do some, right? As I go over, I'm actually allowing my hand to kind of collect the fingers together a little bit. But what's important is to know what you're doing as soon as you hit finger four, the last note of the group. Are you going to connect to that finger one like this? And then, uh, flick over <laughs> or are you going to use that four finger as a springboard I'm suggesting you use it as a springboard that's that's just me all right line before that is a bunch of chords I don't think it's too difficult now, here the tempo suggestion up above is 120 up to you I, again i think as so long as you are sustaining whatever tempo you choose yeah, i think i'm stuck again no i'm not maybe what that's what i would do i would do Go to one three five. That's just an idea. You don't have to take it, but consider it. One here, and then maybe a four here. I think it just connects these two chords a little easier. And then one two four, and then one three five. So just again grouping chords together, I think, is a very good idea. In the left hand, something similar. Why not do? One three five, and then what about one two four, and then what about one two three? And then as you go back to one three five, what about five four two or two four five? In in the left hand as well. I just think it makes navigating through these block chords a little easier. Back to what about one, two, three here? Just a thought. Maybe one, two, four there. Anyway, the idea is you're not always searching for for a new position with each and every chord. It's like right there, like there. And check this out. In the right hand and in the left hand, we have identical fingering patterns. One, three, five. One two four, one two three, and then back to one three five. That's easier myself. And then two four five, yeah, and then maybe here it's different, just because the jump in the left hand is different from the right hand. But anyway, so that's that. Uh, let's continue on. Let's change my view a little bit. All right. So here, I keep forgetting to jump down. Luckily, this is the exact same line as this line, so we don't really need to practice it. Okay, it's it's very similar, except for the final measure marcato. Here, you don't have the marcato. Actually, you do. It's on the next line. Sorry, it's the exact same line. Okay, and then leading into it, let's see what's going on. Mm. Oh, totally different key, what am I doing? Nice harmonies. Ritenuto or 
Rolando, really? Oh, I would definitely do this, look. Why jump when you can just stretch? Two is already on A, yeah? You are my sunshine. That's what it is. Oh, okay, we're gonna fix this. Stretch to, that's why it happened. Stretch to two on A sharp, here, three here, uh, and then you get a two and a four here, and that, that sorts out the problem. I should probably do more of this piece. The ending is sufficiently different from the rest of the piece. But anyway, uh, since I said I'll do short videos, here is the final part of You Are My Sunshine. And I should probably do previous parts. Do ask me in the comments if you'd like them. <laughs>